matchup between Radix and FM. Of course, it is going to be the uh, pistol, or the knife round, sorry, I should say, uh, for the um, uh, 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 third map of this, th of this series. We've gone yeah. all the way to three. You saying in the break that you think that if... Uh, FM start FM. on the T side, they could end up losing. Yeah, I just think Radix would just absolutely sh um, lock down. Um, the, the <laughs> I know what you were side. about to say there. Do not go um, there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just take take them take them out and demoralise them. But you know, it's going to be interesting to see who does start out on the T side. Um, as the knife mount round commences, we're going to find that out just um, right now. Yeah, well, let's have a look when the knife round does go. FM kind of relying a little bit, if you, if what you say is correct, to win this one. And indeed they will, so they should have themselves a CT side. We'll see if they do decide to decide on the CT side. Or if they want to go for, uh, well, if this map is their T side strength, we're about to find out there, of course. Uh, let's see where they go with this one. Come on. Come on, guys. Whenever you're ready. Yep, and Lozinho says There you stay. go. So they've got so the CT side, so we'll never find that out. We'll never find that uh, out. But, but anyway. In that case, where do you think this one's going? FM or Ra uh, Radix? Um, I think FM are going to take it, to be honest, now. You think um, FM are going to take it? Now they're on the CT it? side, I think they're going to pull off the, the first round and uh, get, get the first three, mind you. And um, and just, yeah, that confidence is going to be key, and they're going to take, take this game. I think they're actually going to... It's going to be a close game. Definitely going to be a close game. But it's hard to call. It's really hard to call because that, that Mirage map was just so bad. Yeah. It's so bad. Um, well, I mean, I think the thing we're hoping for is not a 16-2 stomp like we saw in Mirage. No, Apparently, it's no. one of their weaker maps. So maybe it's just a case that FM have not got that one fleshed out in the map pool. It's going to be pistol round. Early rush coming in for Radish now. On towards Toxic. There is one player watching out there. There come the headshots. Nilzini and Pulse clean things up. Fum are absolutely wrecking them. It's all dancing. Last man alive takes that one towards Toxic. The uh, bomb is dropped down on site itself. Nilzinho tapping away and there's just a one on three situation finding whatever he can. Dancy just not landing the crucial shots. There is nothing for this man so far. 18 HP. One versus three. Bomb has not been planted and it will take one bullet for Nilzinho to shut things down. Radish for Fum. Get himself a pistol. Fantastic play there from FM. I just want to say a big shout out to Delirium, who are going to buy me a beer now, so that's all good. <laughs> yeah, you did it, did you? <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> you I didn't, didn't even notice? notice. I did go, I did just get quickly get a drink. Oh there. my uh, yeah. god. But, um, but well done, my friend. Enjoy that beer. Enjoy I'm sure you beer. will. It's well deserved as well, considering the amount of casting we've done today. Yes. I'm just putting that out there. We worked yes. so hard. All right, okay, yes. anyway. Moving on. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> Round two. FM have obviously got um, a full buy here. They deserve that, considering they got the economy to uh, to buy a U uh, four UMPs and an M4. The utility is pretty strong too, but look at this aggression coming from um, the likes of Radix. Dom getting the first kill onto Weber, which actually opens up things, but look at the HP on every single um, of Radix's... Um, Side <laughs> HP, sorry. <laughs> I was just getting distracted at the fact that they're just storming through like an absolute train into B. Stanley taking out Dream on Dom, Logsy, Fry. Fry and Stanley there doubling up very well. There's getting the crossfire on point and just absolutely wiping out FM as they entered onto site B. But I was just, I was just shocked at how aggressive they were playing. It's like almost around the world there from, um, from Radix. <laughs> or half a world. Well, radish. Half a world. <laughs> radish. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I should on. point out for those of you who are not the wiser, I was basically asked uh, to mispronounce Radix. Uh, Radix as Radish them. and FM as Fum. <laughs> uh, for funsies, of course, it's all... You got all it wrong on purpose. I got it wrong on purpose. Don't worry. It, is all, it was all planned. It was all part of the script. Yeah. All part of the script. They're going to be pistols that's now. That's what you like just to think anyway. Shut is up. They're going to be pistols. P250s. Jenko, Dom, Dancy and Dream are going to have those. Logsy going to be playing... Well, actually taking point with the Glock. No armor, of course. No utility for these guys. Full eco from the T side just to shut things down grenades out Dancy's dead all on a 5 on 4 situation once again favoring to the FM side and well I mean they're already doing a lot better than they were before on the uh, uh, Mirage map so we'll see if they can keep things together it's going to be P250 boost uh, out from uh, Dreamer not going to fall uh, anything right now it's going to be Logsy pushing on fruit taking the first not going to happen Stanley and Ilzinho pick things up two kills between uh, well three kills between the two of the players Dom now last man alive one versus five Pulse gets dinked but this should be the end of Dom here. Oh, I'll take that one. But the rest of the season. Take that back. He yeah, he's got the uh, the kill there on connector on Pulse, and he's just trying to grab his gun, but he can't do it because um, Stanley's obviously spotted him, and the pop flash goes out. Oh my God! Dom takes out Stanley. That was just unfortunately there from Stanley um, going down to his pistol. He's got the M4 in his hand now, and he's in a one v three situation. He doesn't have any Kevlar, so he just needs to really play smart and just like play the hide and seek game and just do his best just to hide. Um, and take this round. Uh, take, sorry, take this rifle into uh, into the third round. I don't know. Where one's at the bar. <laughs> one versus three. Dom. 
now in a well a bit yeah one v three and like I was saying he's got the M4 he, he, he's done what he needs to do um, take this rifle into the next round and uh, and and save it but he's going for it <laughs> he's going for the round he's got the bomb on his back he's got ten seconds on the clock it's going to be extremely hard for him to actually get the bomb down considering um, the CTs are there Nils in heaven takes him out of the UMP and uh, unfortunately that's three nil um, to to FM yep three nil like you say FM Doing good so far. They got themselves the conversions at least. So I mean, that that but there's that much going for them. Yeah. So they got they, they got that, um, which of course is something they didn't get in Mirage. I want to bring. I, I'm still quite shocked at how that map turned no, out. Like no. I did not see them being able to get dicked so hard. So now with the AWP for Weber to try and put it into effect out towards well, early aggression in towards middle. So I see if we can spot anybody crossing out of main. But well, three players were crossed successfully. No eyes on the bomb yet for the FM side. Jenko sprays away and manages to push away Weber back into passive angles. They've got to rely on Pulse in towards the bathrooms. Uh, holding out towards Long, see if he can spot out anybody here. Jenko, flashbangs, good spray, will not land anything. Jenko takes him out of the action instead as the Go TV or director wants to push this the wrong way. It's still going to be two picks for the T side and one for CTs. Four on three situation. Fry closing that one down. Bomb still not committed to either side at this point. It's still going to be Weber, Fry and Nilzinho to defend. Yeah, it looks likely that um, FM are going to win this round as well. I mean, the Radix here, look, Dom's going towards a uh, long here to support his teammate. Um, you've got a couple of the T's in, in toilet as well, and it looks like we're going to see an execute onto, onto site A, but they are, there are two CTs there just waiting for them to come into site. Jenko gets the first kill, though, onto Weber, so that opens up things um, for them to get onto site and get the bomb down. Now the execute's coming in. Bar Logzilla is planting for toilets. Um, uh, the truck has been put by Neil, and unfortunately for him, Dancy takes him out. Um, so that leaves Jenko, sorry, Fry in a 1v4 situation now. He's uh, looking to obviously go for it because their economy is pretty decent, so they can buy next round whether or not they, uh, even if they lose um, this round. But um, yeah, Fry's actually decided against that now. He was trying to get a, a, an early pick so he can uh, go for that retake with ease, but um, he's not going to find anything at all. He's just going to sit back, relax, and just wait for uh, one of the T's that being Team Radix to uh, make a decision to go hunting for him so he can uh, punish them in doing so. Yeah, not much he can do. Get an exit on Jenko. Yes, he'll find that much at least, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to be a whole lot. If he can take down Dom, drop the AWP, then that would be great. But again, it's more than unlikely at this point. A one versus three T side on the other side of the map. You'll get a kill at least, but that's all it's going to be. Radix will get the first on the board in this map up. And take a look at the economy for FM. It's going to be a little bit awkward. Uh, at the moment with a little bit of money uh, that has to be, although a few weapons have to be dropped with a very little amount of money on their side. Five M4s will get forced up of course and it will be the AWP also in play for the T side. Good stuff from Dream On, dropping for his teammates and taking a look at the economy right set here. It looks like it might be a decent reset coming for both sides. There is Logsy and Dante to account for. They both got a little, uh, well 3,000 or plus on their side. Meanwhile, 1,300, 300, $550 for the rest of the T side. So. I mean, this money line's not looking great for either side. This could be a very easy reset for, well, in either direction at this point. Yeah, it's 3-1. Um, like you said, the economy's not looking um, too good uh, for Radix, so they definitely need to take this round. Uh, if they don't, then uh, it looks like FM are going to get the next uh, two. So Weber here is smoking off um, the left side of toilets. Pulse is playing a little bit aggressively here uh, in toilets, just searching for a kill. And uh, Jenko gets the first, though, on the other side on B short. Uh, takes out Stanley there, and he's searching for a second. He knows that Fry is playing in the river by B short, and Fry knows he's in connected too, so he takes Jenko out. And uh, that's good play there to so get that trade and make it even again, 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, once again, back to the favour. Well, no one's favour, in fact, but trading nicely. 50 seconds on the clock. Bomb is on its way in towards middle. It is on Dom. And they will make their way. Well, slowly in for action. They've got, they've won their way around Pulse, in fact. Pulse is right there, and Dom with a good read. He didn't even know they were there. Sprays on, takes their headshot. Fry is going to take a try, take a wall banger as well, but he does get think down to 6 HP. And that is not a good time to be them right now. 3 versus 4. Low amounts of HP, 6 particularly on Fry. 30 second execution coming in over towards the A site right here. Only 2 to defend. Dom has got to find a very nice shot. If he can get the body block on Fry, that would be a smoke kill. And it would be absolutely beautiful. Weber gets one. Dom comes back. It's going to be a 2 on three situation bombs gonna get planted fire with a retake five hp still takes the kill onto dream on the logs he's gonna shut him down finally now all onto nozinho out towards middle to try and find something anything in this round because otherwise it will be two to the favor of Radish. They're not in different positions here. Both of them are long. I mean, actually, one of the terrorists is actually rotating around to toilet, so Neil better hurry up and get a kill here. He gets the first kill onto Logzilla. Well played from him. Now, he knows full well that the other terrorist has got to be in that vicinity, and unfortunately, he doesn't look up. He goes for the defuse, and he gets taken out by Dom. 
Nicely done. Three to two. <coughs> Easy peasy. Lemon. For the uh, lemon, lemon squeezy. Japanesey. Yeah. Uh, anything that rhymes with easy, you can do it. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Uh, I, 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 I've, 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 I've gone. Uh, <laughs> 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 the most epic matchup, and we're calling them Radish and Fum. And we're. We, no, going, you. Uh, and you. Easy peasy, <laughs> Japanesey, lemons, whatever. Like, pistol round, Eco coming in for the CTs at this point. It's, it's, it's I series. Let's have some fun with it. Yeah, it's going true. to be the uh, five AKs. Mimo out for the T side. Dream on. He's, he's got the beer. I've got the beer. He's got the yeah. beer in his hands. The, the, like, they're true to their word, and uh, he's enjoying it. Whilst he's, he's, yep. he's well, he's not doing it right now. He's, no, he's I'm going to save. I'm going to save it. He's going to save, save it. He's going to be a good I'm boy. Save it till I'm off the clock. Yeah, cause otherwise, I won't get in uh, that way. I won't get in trouble with yeah. the um, uh, uh, tournament. That's very professional of you. Well done. Indeed. <laughs> anyway, so. we've got the pistol here. We're at three two two FM as we know. Um, not a great amount of utility on the side of FM, so there's not really much they can do apart from work well as a team, get a crossfire going so they can take Radix out. But Dom takes out Weber to begin with. That's the first kill of the round. We've got 58 seconds on the clock. Darcy gets the second, taking out Pulse there with the AK-47. That is Stanley Fry and Neil here in a 3v5 situation. Neil getting a beautiful little headshot uh, with um, the uh, 250 on Sajenko. Logzilla does trade up, though, and takes Neil out in return. Then we've got Stanley and Fry in a 2v4. Let's see what site they go on to here, Team Radix. It looks like they're going to execute it on the A. Let's see what Fryer can do here with this gun, this CZ. Not very much, and Sandy can't do very much either as Dream One and Darcy take them both out. Yep, good round coming in, 3-3. Three to three. Now going to be the M4s versus the AKs. No AWPs out this time, of course. The economy does not really call for it. I mean, well... Um Darcy could buy up, but that means it's going to be in glass cannon, so I guess it's probably not worth it for the T side in this case. Just play, play the aggressive uh, AK, which probably, arguably, depending on you know your skill level, could be better than the aggressive AWP. But one minute, uh, it is just one strategy. The next minute, it is the other one. And of course, we answer these two teams, especially with FM, with the potential to fail as well as they have, you know, and with a lot on st at stake for this team, you know, th this very prestigious team in the uh, tournament and in the UK scene, you know. It could drop at a drop of uh, it could it could change the drop of a dime. So, minute and thirty, no early picks. It will be Dream on getting taken on a sixty-three HP out towards where is he playing from? Actually, Monster. So the early challenges will set themselves in. Uh, two players in the bathrooms actually on the A site, one on the site itself, and two playing I aggressive like short on the B site. So actually, a lot of angles for the T site to work with here. I like this um, this teamwork here from Weber and Pulse. Just playing close together um, in the toilets, just waiting for any uh, mistake um, that Radix may make. Um, but unfortunately, it's not going to happen. Both teams are playing extremely passive here and uh, looks like they're uh, going to go around to, to B site playing quite aggressively but unfortunately Logzilla gets taken out but that's not going to matter because they're going to get the bomb down on default um, just about because uh, Fryer almost took them out from short. Brilliant um, kills here. Bloodbath, absolute bloodbath and Stanley and Pulse now have been forced into a 2v4 situation. The bomb is down of course it's been ticking for quite a while. Stanley gets a nice kill there on Long but he's not going to expect a second as Dream On takes Stanley out with the AK. Now Pulse is in a 1v oh, what, 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 3 <laughs> Almost took out Darcy and uh, and Dream One, but um, just ended up taking out Dream One. So that's uh, around in Radix's favour. Now it's four three. So it's back and forth. It's um, a lot more um, even um, than it was the last map. Um, and it's interesting to uh, to see here. Um, it seems that w as soon as Radix get around, FM get around, and vice versa. Yeah, and it's been well, like that since the beginning of the, of the map, pretty much. I mean, they are getting consecutive rounds, so they are building up an economy on this T side, and that's going to leave FM in a spot where they're not going to have much to work with. CZs, Deagles, P250s, three smokes, and I was going to say that those could be used to be used in particular choke points uh, to block off the aggression, but I don't know where that first one has gone. The second one's also been gone on a Pulse as well, so Fry, last man with a uh, smoke, and already one has fallen in the form of Weber. This should be... I emphasize the word should because we honestly have no idea if uh, if FM can play these pistols as well as we've seen throughout this weekend. But this should be around on the board for Radix. Five on four, first pick, AKs versus pistols, head armor, Kevlar, lots of utility, execution potential all across the board for them. So yeah, a minute to go, they will decide to stack up out towards Long. Bombs on its way alongside Jenko and Dom. Dancy's holding it. There, one in middle, one playing lock on B side, but no rotations will be called today as it will be Nilzinho, first man to challenge Stanley. Does actually take down Dream on, so it's back to a four and four. Dom's going to deck down Nilzinho, really easily decked him with a headshot. Jenko also gets pulse. Stanley and Fry, not much they can do here. Sprays come through, and that's Stanley left alone, alive in a one versus four. AK recovered, so he will just save that, and it will be five rounds on the board for the T side. Yep, Stanley doing uh, 
a wise man here, just um, searching for an exit kill. But um, looking at FM's economy, going into round nine, they are going to be able to buy. And um, it's another round for Team Radix, but um, I reckon that FM have got a good chance of, of getting another round under the belt in, in round nine. But Stanley's doing a good oh job here God. of getting some good exit kills or whatnot. He's, uh, he's taken out, not what, three of the T's there, I believe, in total. So well played for him. That's obviously money in the bank going into round nine. And obviously an AK-47 and a Molotov to work with as well. So they're going to have a nice, healthy buy at FM in the next round and see if they can use that to their advantage. I mean, not to mention the damage that it does to the to the Radix economy. Because look at this, the reinvestment's going to come through. They'll buy in with the AKs. AWP is not going to get dropped as far as I can see from my angle. Uh, Dream on. Are you going to get? Yeah, you'll get the AWP. But look at that. Look at the money line for them now. Just 2,000. Less than three grand on at least three players. Sorry, four players. In fact, there's only Dancy that's got himself uh, just, <coughs> just about $7,000. Excuse me, my throat is going to hell. It's going to be a one AWP for either site here. Nilzenia taking one. Dream on taking another. Yes, wave my strep seals to uh, let me know what I need to actually take to uh, cure that. But uh, yes, it's going to be early challenge on map control coming in from Logsy and Jenko. One player peeks out as Stanley takes down. Well, he doesn't take down any assist with the kills coming through. Pulse gets Jenko, Logsy there to trade, but there's Weber back for a one for one. Again to a three on three. Bombs down towards Park. Once again, no information for the CTs. And Radix will slow things down, except for Dream on who's still got himself in towards the B side. He actually does open up the B side, so potential for a plant here. Yeah, absolutely. It looks like the bomb is going to be uh, planted down as soon as he rotates round two to B. He's going to be able to do that. Weber and um, and Neil here uh, in a good position. Neil definitely is, but he's going to get smoked out, unfortunately. So he's not going to be able to actually get a pick from that position onto uh, onto site B. And instead, Dream on returns with his AWP skills and takes Neil out. Now Weber's obviously now in a one v three. He's uh, got a kit. He's got some. He's got full utility. But um, it looks like what he's thinking right now is exit kills. Yeah, not much he can do. Holding the backstab, expecting T-side Radix to uh, come back towards Monster and uh, oh, just get shut down immediately by the AK sprays. But in this case, they're not going to buy it. I thought they were going to head that way. It seemed very likely considering from their positions. And actually, it might be Dream on who might head in that direction. Yes, he will. So Webber, chance to take an exit frag. And that's an AWP as well, so that's going to be great for him. Expecting someone else to go peaky, but in this case, they've all gone their separate ways. So that's once again economy damage coming in for the uh, CT side. And the AWP in their hands. Does Weber pick it up? Yeah. Oh, no. He almost had it as well. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that, that is unfortunate. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's still going to be a lot of damage. It's an AWP out of their hands and uh, economical uh, reinvestment that has to come on through. So Weber calling a pause. This makes sense at this point because, I mean, it's been six rounds in a row for the Radix side, and the uh, CTs haven't gotten anything on the board. Yeah, Radix are running away with it now. Um, so the pause is obviously um, coming in, and it's probably a good thing that they've uh, they've gone for a pause so they can talk about what um, what they're doing wrong and what they should be doing um, to get back into the game. Three six, bit of a gap, but it's not um, it's not unfixable. <coughs> But uh, Weber's got the AWP here, which is interesting because Neil normally picks it up. But we know that Weber's got um, some decent silky uh, AWP skills as well. Um, so, I mean, like I said, the best thing really is probably get a, a nice early pick in, in the round. So that gives them that early advantage going into the round over Radix. And that's what it's all about. Getting the first kill in the round of the round. Yeah, pretty much. Makes life a lot easier. Yeah, you pretty much got it to, uh, dead on right there. I mean... This first pick for them is going to be so crucial because they need to work off of that with their man advantage. Once you take that first pick, it honestly it, it just means that you get yourself an extra an extra boost when it comes down to shutting down T side offensives because yeah. one man down already they have to push on through. You've got less people to worry about, less uh, presence uh, to be concentrating on, and it throws the other team's exactly. plan in, into disarray. Yeah, um, exactly. You're 100 percent right on that. So for them. I'm saying probably aggressive AWP play from Weber. He hasn't taken. He's only taken that out once. He was pushed away pretty quickly by the Radix side. If he can get that out towards, um, uh, uh, if he can get that out towards uh, this spot over here in the uh, middle area, or, or, or maybe out to, or maybe just get some cover down from the long area, then that'll be great for them because I mean, you know, once you play those spots, you can take those picks if they come out from the uh, 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 main area. Then it all gets sh gets shut down. At the same time, also coming down from uh, uh, the B site to defend uh, uh, this spot here and uh, uh, shut down any presence if the T's decide to come over this way. Yes, they're going to be able to deal with that very, very quickly, but uh, if you can take that, 
the point is to be able to take that first pick. So if they can do it, then uh, GG's all around the AWP will be working to its finest. Now it's going to be Draymond mm -hmm. taking the AWP for his side in particular. Uh, and Weber, well, let's see where he plays. Actually, he's going to try from the middle uh, push, like I was saying. Let's see if he gets this first move on for it. He's actually going to go towards Connector and expect them to come down that way. Yeah, unfortunately, Weber wasn't able to get an early pick there, but um, that's just down to the fact that Radix aren't giving anything away um, early in the round. They're just playing passively, and it looks like they're just going to commit to B um, all at the same time together as a unit, as a team. But oh Fry no. says it's not going to be good enough as he takes down Jenko, Dom, and Dancy, all with the UMP. Fantastic play for him. He doesn't manage to get the fourth, though, as Logzilla takes him out eventually with the support of Jenko. And it looks like they're going on to B site as quick as they possibly can. Or well, they're playing short, should I say. Logzilla is on uh, the, the um, tw or towards Monster. He's actually on the site. And so did his teammate Dreamon. He's just waiting dream for Dreamon to actually get a pick. So it makes it like, a little bit easier to get onto site. But Dreamon misses the CT. He doesn't see um, the CT there, uh, that being Weber, in heaven. Which is unfortunate because it looks like Weber is going to capitalise on that as he takes out Logzilla. Now that leaves Dreamon in an awkward situation right now on his own against four CTs. It's not looking likely he's going to be able to do much. And I don't know what happened there. Did he even fire a shot there? That was um, an unfortunate misclick. But... Um, Again, a, a very, you know, a good pause, a good tactical uh, decision there from FM. And obviously they uh, talked about what they were doing wrong and they improved their defences um, overall, as we just witnessed. Yeah, again, I'd like to see more of the AWP aggression coming in from Weber. It just didn't work out for them uh, in this case. He played out towards Connector. He was kind of watching sort of like a corner spot over in this area. Again, if, even if he'd gone down here and tried to look down this angle to try and shut down T-side players, then that would be great for them. But for now, it's just not going to work out for them as they will once again take a double orb setup. Actually, a double orb setup recovered on Pulse. He's playing out towards the B site, and uh, Weber will hold down long in case the T side do want to do go uh, down that particular area. He's up on the boost. That's going to work out for them uh, once the T side uh, do decide to shut things down out towards long. For now, that's going to be middle play coming in. Jenko pushes out, takes down Stanley. Nice start. The smokes are out. Will blind him. He does get the information on one of the players. I think he also heard that it's an AWP, so he will have that info. That may sway the decision. So Pulse wants to stay exactly put exactly where he is because I don't think they know about him just yet. A minute to go now. Bombs in toilets, in bathrooms. And uh, it will be the first pick that goes to the favour of this T side. When we're talking once again the mental game, this might throw FM for a loop a little bit like it did on Mirage. Now Jenko once again pushing on through. Good Molotovs may push Nolzinho out of position, but there's Weber with the AWP. Starts things off, looks for his second. However, it's going to be Jenko getting close range, 7 HP. Nolzinho takes him down back to the man of much for the CTs. But Dom chimes back with a headshot. Weber comes in with one more, looking for his second or third of the round. He's going to shut him down. Draymond's gone all on Dancy. Last man in a one versus three. Spots out five takes him down but he's got 2 HP this should be an easy clean up for the 2 AWPs watching the same angles and there it is Pulse with his first in the round for a 3k on Weber it's going to be 5 to 6 favour of the Radix side that double up set up from the likes of Weber and Pulse has proved to be absolutely destructive um, and you know Pulse is great with the orb so is Weber and if they continue with that double up set up I don't think Radix are really in with much of a chance especially considering that their economy isn't at that um, high level that they need it to be uh, to obviously have a full buyer so they're going into it, um, round 12 with an eco Dancy and uh, his teammate, that being um, Logzilla, are going for an aggressive um, connector push. But there's not going to be any CTs there because the CTs are opting to play as passively as they possibly can. Just hoping that uh, Radix all go in at the same time to A site or to B site so they can wipe them out in one swift swoop. But um, Fry's taking a little bit of damage there. It's not really going to cause much of a problem as his teammate Weber takes out Dom with the AWP so he's got that pick he's falling back back to site now that's all he needs to do get back to a different position relocate take out not one oh. not two but three of Radix there and that leaves Jenko and Dream on in a 2v5 situation now and now Jenko's on his own with a tech nine not really much he can do right now apart from take out Stanley which is a good little try but is it going to be enough as Fry, Pulse and Neil Weber are hunting for Jenko as we speak and it looks like he's going to run into the CT there and connect her but no he's He's chosen to go back to toilets. He's very he's really radical here. He's moving left, right and centre. Doesn't know what to do, where to go. And the best thing right now is to go down to Pulse's AWP. Well played from FM to stump them out and, uh, and win that round. Even though it was an eco, it was still well played from FM. Good defences again, once again. Yeah, they'll even score up and, well, yeah, like you said, great defensive coming on through from the uh, FM side. They'll keep things together uh, just about against the uh, Radix side. Uh, they managed to stay alive with four players as well, so... 6-6, six six, double loss once again back in play. I don't think they lost them in that last round. Uh, so it doesn't matter at the end of the day. It's going to be a full force coming on through from the erratic side, meanwhile. 
One single double flash set on Jen on Jenko uh, and Dom Dancy Dream and uh, Dream on sorry and Logzilla are all going to be left a little bit stranded in terms of utility. Stanley also going to take the first onto Dancy. One AK already out of play for the T side. Jenko spots out one, but Pulse has got the other cross locked out from the uh, the, 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 the water area. The water area. The short area. That's definitely wrong. The water area. Three on five. Dream on five. He takes down five. Looks for a second though as Nozinho takes down a headshot. It's all with Dom and Logzy in a two on four situation. And Jenko is going to call for a pause this time. So. Both tactical pauses from coming in from both sides this time. This is going to be very interesting, I think. Indeed it is. And we're going to see Dom and Logzilla actually go for this round. Um, looking at their economy, I don't know if that's the best option, considering FM are defending extremely well. But they're going to do it anyway. Let's see if they can get that entry. It's not going to be likely because Weber is extremely powerful with the AWP and he's in an extremely good position. Aww. And he does prove us right in saying so as he takes out Logzilla. Goes for the second. Oh Beautiful. my god! Beautiful headshot there onto Dom. And Weber is proving an absolute beast with this rifle, with this sniper rifle. Let's see if Poles can follow up and get a couple of kills as well with it um, in round 14. But uh, a pause. Who uh, went for that? that I'm was assuming Radix. it's Radix. Fair play. And Radix, I mean, this is smart as well. I mean, when you consider the current, again, talking about the current climate, we were talking about how it was for FM's pause and the way that they were like down like three to six. This time, they're down seven to six. So for their current position right here, it, it's a very awkward spot for them because they haven't got a whole lot of economy to work with. You can see just sort of the actual money line on the right-hand side of your screens. This is an awkward situation to be in because obviously you can't really buy with, up with every single player. There are some that you can buy in with a, uh, a T side, but in particular, Dancy is going to have a, a bunch of problems because he could, he could get an AK, but he'd also be out of uh, out, out without any utility. So the best thing for him to do is uh, uh, to buy in with a UMP and uh, maybe some Kevlar. Uh, but for, I mean, you know, even, even discussing that, you know, you also got to think about the current situation of what have FM done to manage to take this lead from us because we've lost four rounds in a row. And they've taken the lead. We're two rounds away from the end of the half, so we can either decide to force buy in this one, which would, if we play our cards right, might give us an opportunity to get back into this one and take eight to seven as a scoreline, or we could force buy and lose, and that would give them nine to six. Or we can eco this one, try play for the uh, eight to seven to their advantage, and try to come back in our CT side. Probably the smarter option. To it's be the fair. smarter option, and just taking a look at the current bios, we've got Jenko getting out a Tech Nine, a P250 on Dream on. And well, the pause is still going. Here. We have got a bit of time what, for these pauses. Whether, whatever happens in this this um, this current round, though, um, after the pause, I, I do think it's going to be very interesting um, as to what Radix are going to um, look to do strat wise because obviously they've taken a tactical pause. They must be talking about exactly what they're going to do, not just in this round, but the next round and the round after that. So obviously, close the gap and um, and potentially win um, this first half on overpass. But um, we'll have to wait and see. It looks as though we're uh, going to be continuing this game ever so shortly. Ah, oh, sportsman-like. Sorry, no problem. You ready? There we go. Ah, WC. Oh, WC. So, toilet break. Maybe so. it wasn't the tactical pause that we were expecting from this uh, immaculate seaside. They're all going to the toilet and talking about their strats there. <laughs> <laughs> Two things at once is productive. Oh no, no, don't. Oh my god, don't do that. But they're going to come back now, Radix, and they're going to absolutely destroy FM with this tactical decision that they've. You're going to put money on that. To come. Then? Are you going to put money down on that? Are you going to put a beer no, down on that? No. I've, I've, I've given up gambling. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> hell, you were at the casino last night. At the bar in the casino. You were I didn't bet on anything. Like hell. I don't believe uh, you. Honestly, nothing at all. With the amount of money that Trib was winning, you can't tell me that you weren't tempted. I was tempted, but I, I didn't. I was just watching other people gamble. Normally I have a little gamble roulette, a cheeky bet, but I was actually a good boy last night. Well, there he is, Lucas. I just bet on CS. Oh, yeah. skins? No, no, beers. With beers. you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but not this time. I'm going to give it a break because you keep winning. <laughs> <laughs> this is the longest pause ever. <laughs> it is a pause. I mean, it is a, Come on. Uh, we wanna uh, see a toilet break pause. So, something. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, we do want to see something. You're right about that. Uh, but it is a toilet break pause as per usual. So. It's going to take a bit of time, obviously. I mean, this is kind of the reason why mo some of the matches were delayed uh, today. Uh, in, uh, it happens though. It does happen. You, you, can't, you can't be sitting down for you know hours and hours at a time and not expected to uh, go for a little uh, wee one. Uh, so nope, it is natural after all. Yep. 
Of course, so just give him a little bit of time. Yep. But yeah, talking about this current match, I mean, in, in this map up, I mean, this is a very important map for both of these guys because, um, yes, the loser does go to the lower bracket, but it means you've got to play a few extra games, in particular alongside uh, the likes of uh, TLR, uh, Impulse, uh, and potentially uh, a Cryden. ZX Reason infused all London links, depending on how the bracket does play out. If you do want to check out what's going on down there, you can uh, 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 type an explanation about bracket and find out. Meanwhile, also speaking of the bracket, we found out which team these guys are going to be fa facing in our last series of the night, the next series. And uh, that's going to be uh, Dog Gaming knocking out Impulse uh, into the uh, lower bracket. So, for this case, one of these teams is going to be going up, up against a pretty strong team because we saw Dog Gaming earlier today and they were doing pretty decently against Infused. Yeah, I mean, obviously we had the group stages yesterday, and it was like a matter of good teams going up against reasonably, well, not bad. I wouldn't say bad, but lesser skilled maybe or lesser experienced. And obviously we saw that. But now, obviously, as the tournaments progress, we're on Saturday now, and the finals on tom um, tomorrow. Um, it's just gotten better and better, more entertaining because good teams are going up against good teams or equally skilled teams, should I say? So it's been more entertaining overall. Um, but the pause, I believe, is going to be unpause. In the next nope. um, couple no, of seconds, not. no, I, I it's not. It does not false like hope, to be. false hope. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking at the chat? He's, what are they saying? He's kicked off the ladder, apparently. Who? Um. Whom? The fifth, I think. I have no idea which one that is, but uh, well, I think we found the first in our uh, post land shuffle. And it's gonna be Radix, um, kicking people, Pe people, Pe people, 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 people. That people. is the word I'm looking for, people. Yeah. Sitting down now. Right, okay, so now the unpause is ready to get started. Go, guys, don't worry about it. I mean, you know, take your time, uh, Firm and Radish. I mean, you know, we're not exactly... Uh, Radish, uh, you've done it again. <laughs> you're doing it, I don't know if you're doing it on purpose. I am or, doing it on like, purpose. I, I hope so. I am doing it on purpose. But yeah, <laughs> firm and Radish, don't, don't take your time with your water control. It's not like we're, uh, um, it's not like we're uh, streaming here to uh, uh, hundreds no. of thousands of people. Yes, sir, we'll stay, oh, actually, how many viewers we'll have we We'll stay up until 3 o'clock in the morning. We, okay. have, we have 174 people, so it's not like we're streaming to a decent audience, you know. It's just t take your time. Have have fun. Don't <laughs> worry about it. That's what we're doing. That's why I keep calling Radix Radish. And drinking on stream. I'm actually not drinking. Don't. But look, they 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 brought up there, so they've got a deagle. So they've already it's kind of bought their weapons. Yeah, it's gonna be an eco. I think it's, it, that's what I said earlier. It's gonna be an yeah, eco. Yeah, it's gonna be an yeah, eco. Like, like you said, it was the smartest strategy. It so was the smartest strategy. That's what they're gonna go for. Let's see if it. We'll see if it works out for them. I'd be quite. Um, Entertaining if they actually win the round. I mean, we've seen a lot of pistol upsets. That's what Mate, I'm saying. If they win this round, I quit. You're like, we, you, we've you seen a lot of, of pistol rounds won by the the team holding the pistols. We, we, you know, we've seen it in a lot of matches. So I know Weber and Pulse have this double orb set up, and you know, Stanley and Fry and Neil have um, rifles and, and full utility. Um, but you know, you never know what's going to happen. So you have to wait and see. Weber's playing quite aggressively here um, by. Um, balloons and uh, looks like they can actually come into his crossfire but he, he scopes out and he runs oh. away and he pays the price as he gets taken out by Dancy. That's extremely unfortunate. All he had to do is just scope down for a little bit longer but yeah, that's hindsight is a wonderful thing isn't it? But Logzilla is trying to boost himself up onto the, the step on long but unfortunately he fails the jump but it doesn't really matter as he spots out one of the CTs that being Neil uh, towards bank and Neil's going to smoke him off by some time and force them to rotate off of site A and go elsewhere, which is going to be a rotate to B. So let's see what happens here as they rotate round. But let's not forget, Weber's been taken out. It's a pistol round for Radix, and they've got the advantage. So can I just say, can I just say real quick, very yeah. smart by Stanley. You notice we creeped up in towards toilets to get that AWP, to completely take it out of the hands of the T side. That way, no one can have it. Not the CTs. Obviously, Stanley can't play that as well, but I don't think they need an AWP when they've got themselves the eagle shots like that. One dig for Dancy, one dig for Logsy, and now it's a three on five situation. This one has fallen apart for FM. Pulse finally comes in to quit. and takes down <laughs> Jenko. Don't even go there. Four on, well, three on three now. Pulse gets one now. He's going to hold back towards water. Good one. One D's coming in from Dom, though he takes down Fry and Pulse. Now tap it away, Dancy! Through the wall, takes down Pulse. It's all on Nilzinho. A one versus three. Spots up the shadow of one, takes down Dreamon. Looking for one more round the pillar. There's one also back towards the uh, uh, graffiti area and jungle. And now spotting out whatever information they can. It will be Dom taking a nice one, two D. 
And there it is. I quit. You can have the rest of the series tonight. Yeah. You can do solo casting. I no told problem. you. I Absolutely told you. No problem. Go for it, mate. I told you the pistols are extremely unpredictable. We've seen, see, we've been seeing so many teams win. Um, forces and, and, and pistol rounds but um, look both of the teams now have got a double orb set up this is going to be extremely interesting to see what Dancy and Dream One can do with the orb uh, we know how powerful Dancy is with the AWP and let's see if he can get a nice early pick for his t uh, team that being Team Radix um, as he peaks um, Fountain but um, neither team are giving anything away Weber is staying back this time Pulse is doing so too and uh, both teams are just waiting for uh, each other to make some kind of mistake yeah, no mistakes will come biting in the first part of this round, though. A minute and 30 left on the clock, so lots of time for both teams to play with, lots of time for them to change things up in this round. So no challenges, no tags, no kills. And now the uh, bomb will be on its way in towards Connector alongside Logsy on Dream On. Now Smoke's going to be used once again to just keep Jenko at bay out towards Monster. And the, uh, well, I mean, they'll take their time. They'll slow things down. I mean, Radix don't need to go quick. They can hold back and try and keep the CT side on edge here as Logsy will go pushing and will get taken down back towards Connector. Will he go? AWP trying to get control and towards the uh, 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 long area. Dancy moves on. Dom takes down Stanley, starts things off. The good boost comes in from Dream on. He takes down Pulse to a three on five. Now Fry coming back with a two for one trade. He's going to get himself the rifle. But meanwhile, the rest of the T side, they're getting on towards this bomb site. 35 seconds now. Fry has to shut down the bomb part if they want any chance of winning this one. And now they're going to start moving on through. He takes down one. Weber takes another. Dancy next man up on the chopping block. And Fry takes himself a very nice triple looking for the quadra kill. But he's not going to find it. Dom is going to be forced back in towards tunnels and back out towards Monster to try and get this bomb plant down. 15 seconds on the clock. CTs don't have the angle locked out just yet, but you can get this bomb down and at least get the bomb plant. They'll have that much to walk away with and the retake will be on for the CT side. A 4K for Dom here. Will he find it? The answer to that question is pretty unlikely, but, well, there will be the double peak coming in from Weber and Nelsino. Weber will shut him down to bring the half to the FM side. But they got the rounds they wanted, Radix. Yes, you're right about that. It's 8-7. That's what you predicted. Um, the pause came in and they um, tactically done a lot better towards the end of the first half. Um, so well played to them, really. Um, and it's a much, so much, so much of a, more of an even game as well than it was last map. So let's see who wins this eco because that's going to be the be or end all. That is what is most important right now. So let's see what strat FM opt for as they are now on the terrorist side. Whether they're going to play aggressively or passively, I don't know. But they're going to definitely think long and hard about what is the best strat to uh, to, to um, take place in this round 16. Yep, double flashes and a Molotov is going to be the utility buy for the T side on Weber. Meanwhile on the other side of the uh, table you can see no defuse kit for Radix as they will try and rely solely on their holes and Dream on just not landing his shots. Find Stanley eventually with the headshot but meanwhile the T side they've got themselves a bomb. They got this down on the site here when River Fright is ready to go ahead and try it. There's going to be a peeking looking for Logsy and it will be Nilzinho taking down Jenko. He also hears out Dom tries to take the headshot. Will find it with two nice shots on the target. Now a four on a three pulse. Looking out for Logsy. Spots out the gun barrel before he spots out anything else. Also hears out the information that Dancy he knows where the two players are. So the bomb will go down and it will be an awful retake coming in for the Radix side here. All angles locked out. Dancy's out towards the uh, heaven area, no utility for them to use, so definitely a bad play, but Dancy spots out the first look for his second on to Nilzinho, he's going to find it, it's going to be two versus two, now they will move back around into different positions, but once already in towards short for the CT side, Weber is going to compete straight into their crossfire now, and it's all on Dancy on just 16 HP, no defuse, get flashbangs out, tapping away, looking for his headshots, but I think the timer is ticking away against him, he's got to find this one, and it's going to be Fry that peeks out and brings a knife to the favour of the FM Esports lineup. Yep, so they've got the all-important all eco round there, which is great. And uh, they're going to use all their money that they've just earned in that first round by buying up UMPs, even an AK-47 in the possession of Fry. And look, pretty much full utility all round as well. But Dancy and Dream on, interesting. They've doubled up on the scout. And uh, let's see if that's going to cause any damage onto Team FM as we commence round 17. I don't know what kind of strat they're going to opt for, but it's definitely going to be an interesting one considering they have forced up Dancy and Dream on here in this round. Oh, sprays Pulse, shuts it down, instant double kill, instant $1,200 in the bank, which puts him on 1600 in total already. So, great UMP play, instantly shutting down whatever the, uh, the damage is done from onto Stanley here. So, AK still in play, meanwhile on Fright. They got themselves connected to control, they got themselves, you know, 
middle control, the toilet's control. They've got loads of control all across this map, so. Ford control. <laughs> what? 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 Full map control. Oh, I thought you said Ford control. No, I Ford. <laughs> I'll put an accent on it. I'm okay. Uh, uh, right. Anyway, four, moving on. For free situation, a minute to go now for the uh, T side to make a move. They have got angles locked out on CT, so Alex might have themselves in uh, for a chance here, but they've got to rely pretty much on their uh, scout players being able to hand in their headshots. So here come the flashes. It's going to be L utility out towards the uh, uh, site there. Flashbangs on site, spoke out towards heaven, block off one of the key angles for the CT hole. Now pushing on through, there's Nilzinho, spot out Darcy, Logsy all stand towards toilets. Pulse is going to go aggressive and he is going to get taken down, but here comes Nilzinho, gets two all on Draymond, and it's still going to happen today. Fry takes him down. 42k for Nilzinho. 10 to 7 now. We're in double digits for the FME Sports side. Yeah, 10 to 7. They won the first um, three rounds there, so well played. Uh, or two rounds, shall I say. And uh, going into round 18, they're going to fall by. Um, and they are forced into an eco here, Team Radix. So let's see what they can do. Not really much they can do against um, a full by, full uh, head Kevlar uh, with USPs. But they're going to give it a good shot. And it uh, looks like Dancy is going to play quite aggressively here in connector with his teammate. They're going to be mollied out though, unfortunately, so there's not really much they can do. But uh, looks as though we've got three T's here. Uh, opting to push A as quickly as they possibly can to get on site and get that bomb down because the bomb is on the possession of um, Stanley here. They've got the smokes to use. They've got the flashes to use. Let's see if they can do that and use it to the, their advantage. There's no one, no opposition on a site whatsoever. They've just completely given the site up. Um, so it looks like they're going to opt for some kind of retake, I guess, with no kit. I'm not sure. But kills is what they need. Kills is what they want if they want any kind of money going into the next round. And they're not getting it as Weber takes out one and uh, Nilzinho takes out the next one, that being Logzilla. So that puts Dom and Jenko and Dream on in a 3v5 situation right now. Not really much they can do whatsoever apart from wait for those exit kills. And even that's going to be a difficult thing to do to accomplish as Fry takes Dream One out and puts Dom and Jenko in a 2v5. Yeah, not much for them to do other than try and run away, maybe look for an exit. Dom in particular, you can see he's got himself turned around expecting it to come on through. Stanley, when he moves on through, will try and take down one. Dom's going to take him out. Weber already in play to try and shut down them and just get, take more money in the bank at this point. It's just all they're going to be looking for. That's what they gain out of it. Money with the UMPs. Yes, Polster's die, but he's not losing a whole lot with that UMP. He gets himself $600. And he can invest into the uh, AKs for this next one. 4 AK investment. Will Nuzinho also buy up or is he going to stick out with the UMP? Probably stick with it. A lot, of, a lot of players yeah. tend to do this these days. It is quite a powerful um, weapon obviously if you know how to use it and uh, you've got some decent aim um, and you can pull in some good headshots and Neil can do, do just that. So it's beginning just to see as to whether or not he can get some kills uh, in this round with that gun. But anyway, it looks like we're going to see a very slow play here um, from FM instead of um, playing aggressively, which is probably the wise decision considering they're getting smoked off left, right and centre. Um, so yeah, Radix are trying their best to uh, bide their time and use time to their advantage and um, looks like it's not really going to matter because they're going to push through to Smoke FM. Very ballsy play here. Flashes go out and they try and push through, but Logzilla says, no, not today, my friend. I'm going to close his door and he takes out Stanley. Dom does the same on Jaw, taking out Pulse. Weber does get a trade, so does Fry. And that means Fry and Nilzinho are in a 2v3 situation right now. They're going to try and get the bomb down because there is one minute and 10 seconds on the clock. And Nilzinho takes out Jenko. Well played from FM there to force them into a 2v2 situation and just try and take out as many CTs as they possibly can. And look, Dom, Jenko, Logzilla all out of the game. And, uh, and Fry and Nil here have the bomb. They have that composure and they're going to work well as a double team here to rotate round and, uh, and change positions. Relocating is probably wise because that obviously keeps the CTs guessing and um, obviously one's on B, one's on A. And uh, with them being split and with um, Fry and Nilzinho uh, together playing together, they're just going to force um, one of the CTs to have to uh, play, um, in it, well, go against them in a 1v2 situation, which is exactly what FM want. Yeah, two on two, 30 seconds on the clock. Bombs on its way with Nilzini and Friday. They're backing up. They're making a lot of footsteps. So Dancy may be able to hear it out. He will hear the uh, the uh, flash bang coming on through now. He will be able to take down Nilzini and get Friday and a four HP. He'll get the bomb plant at least, but well, Dream on should be able to win this one pretty easily unless he's not looking at the right angle and Fry's able to watch out from bank and just peek out and take him out through the uh, small spray down. Actually, Dream One's going to be peeking right into his crosshair. There we are. Kill coming in. Very simple for him. It will be eight rounds on the board. For the Radix CT side, at best, they are able to get themselves uh, 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 four players down for Radix. 
So, uh, of course, losing three in a row and then buying into the full investment into uh, just four players, you know, obviously massive amounts of death on their side. He's going to put them instead for, well, yeah. the hardest buy of a CT side that you will ever find because two players can't buy, sorry, three players can't buy M4s. So as a result, they're going to have to go with Famasu's UMPs and AK obviously recovered on the part of Dom. Could drop one to one of his teammates, although he's going to opt for the uh, utility investment instead. So, not going to happen today. Just the uh, two rifles backed up by Famasu and two UMPs up against five AKs in play for the T side. Pick style play, two out towards uh, short in... Uh, 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 tunnels there. Jenko is going to get the information out. Stanley will try and spray him through, but he's not going to be there. He's going to be out towards site instead. No, just going back to last round as well. Um, you were talking about the footsteps on long. That was you're right completely. They should have played that a little bit better, and I think they could have won the round if they did, um, because Dancy shouldn't have got that kill. If they were playing a silent game, they could have got it. But anyhow, you know, round 20, um, Fry and Weber and Neil are in a um, 3v4 situation right now. So they don't have the man advantage, whereas Radix do. So there's not really much they can do, but I don't think they're going to throw this, this round away. I think they're still going to attempt to try and, uh, and win this and make it 12-8. But it's going to be very difficult for them to do so. Yeah, a minute to go. Weber, Fry, and Nelsinio. In towards lo what looks to be an A site pu uh, B site push, sorry, coming in. Uh, two out towards Monster, one in the uh, uh, water area short. And look at the HP on Logzilla, not looking yep. too healthy. Yeah, you're right about that. Logzy is going to be a main key uh, factor for the defensive here, and you can see we're pushing up here. Weber's going to take him down nicely, back to a three on three. Dom next up on the chopping block, out towards Toxic. He's actually going to get more. Either way, he will still push out, trying to line them up. We'll take two kills. Nicely done. Now it's all Fry alone in a one versus two to try and bring it back for his team. AK in hand, flashbang out. Second one in his pocket, but he's got himself the bomb, and Dancy's playing slow, clo so close. He's got himself all the information but Fry still takes him down all on Dream On and Dream On will take him out of the action to 11 to 9. The FM push almost looked so good but it was all the sacrifice of Toxic. Yep, look in the economy as well. FM are kind of most likely eco this round. They have uh, obviously a couple of rounds um, advantage here, so they do have the time to eco. But saying that, it looks like they're not going to do that. They're going to do quite the opposite. They've got four Tech Nines under the belt. They've got um, full Kevlar, so they've forced it up right now with Fry with the UMP. So, but a utility as well to work with. I've just know this too. So let's see what they do here. Um, obviously, they really do want to get this game over with and um, and get that that twelfth round under their belt. They're keen yeah. to anyway. And the slightly bit surely pushing towards A. We've got Fry obviously leading the pack here, the pack of walls with the UMP, trying to get that entry to open up the site so they can get on site and get that bomb down. With, of course, the support of his Tech 9 Cubs. Yeah, now, it will be aggressive play coming on through from the T side. Utility usage will try and execute here with flashbangs, just trying to blind off the vision. Tech Nines have to take close range fights, but if Jenko's anything like he is, he should be able to shut down this first kill. Shots out the bomb as well. Dream on gets Nilzinio, and there's going to be Fry coming back at least with the UMP. Jenko gets dinged, but he's going to be pushed back away now. It's a two on four situation, all on. Just a shutdown coming on through from the Radic side. Weber's going to be able to get Jenko. Pulse is down at 10 HP, however, and Logs is going to take him down. Dancy also going to get shot out as well for a 2k for Weber. 4k clutch room if he wants to bring this one back. Dom and Logsy are out towards very different areas on a map. In fact, one in bank, one out towards uh, uh, Long itself. Weber, trying to see if he can, he's, he's trying to get the information here. He's trying to get the bomb down. He needs to get this bomb plant because he's got 35 seconds. He's slowly running out of time and he's gonna give away his position right there. Logs, he sprays him, takes him out of the action. It's gonna be 10 to 11. CT side victory, easy three rounds and FM, what's happened again? They seem to have fallen off the edge here. They've allowed uh, the uh, CT opponents to come back into this one. What, particularly close fashion as well. Yeah, obviously the tactical pause works once again. Um, so yeah, I mean you've got to give credit to to Relix here. They've um, won the last few rounds and um, they've closed uh, closed the gap. Um, FM are struggling now, considering they're in the eco as well. It looks likely that they're going to make it 11-11 um, Radix. But look, aggressive play attempted here by FM on B long. And the Molly is going to stop that um, push, but they're still going to continue after the Molly is gone. And let's see if they get this pick. Can they see barrels? Can they see the CT barrels? Yes, they can. Don does manage to get one pick, though. Uh, Logzilla gets Fry. And then that's Weber, Pulse, Nils Nilzino now in a uh, 3v2 situation. Dancy, Dream on. Uh, I've got an M4 and a UMP and diffuse kit, so they can retake this with ease if they just work together and take the T's out one by one not as individuals but as a double team 
And look at that. Dream on. Taking out Weber on short. Neil Zinio trading up. Killing Dancy. Neil is spotted now by Dream on. But that's not good enough. As Pulse backs his teammate up. And they do put Dream on in a 2v1. And they do swiftly take him out. That is 12-10 to the favour of FM Esports. There we go. Finally, a round comes back for the FM side. And that puts them back into contention to win this one. There is still a few rounds to go, of course. AWP going to get bought out by Dream on in this round. It's going to be the full force coming out from the CTs from Radix. Scout, UMP, two pistols in the form of a 5.7 and a CZ on Jenko and Logsy. Three AKs and M4 from Ars also being bought out by the T side. Jenko, oh, he's got some a very nice angle. Actually, this will be very good if they do decide to go aggressive towards this connected area. But, I mean, honestly, FM have opted not to do that throughout this matchup. So, while you position yourself there, I do not know. To be honest, it's going to be pushing on through towards the site. Uh, three players in towards uh, Long. One out towards Middle will try and take one out of Fountain. is going to be taking that particular angle. And Weber's also playing Lurk out towards the uh, uh, monster area. Watching out for anyone who does go pushing through, which Logsy well, might get tempted. And indeed, he will, he will give away his position. Jenko now still playing for the uh, uh, close-range fight. And uh, a rotation here would be pretty awful coming in from FM. It looks like they're going to give it to Impulse. Moving on closer, here comes Jenko, gets spotted out, so Pulse actually takes the first pick, and now Logs, he's going to try, try to see if he can do any damage to this T-side whatsoever, but FM are rolling like a freight train, straight towards Short Smoke. We'll stop them for a second, it's a red light, but Nilzinho, meanwhile, is creeping up slowly up towards Logs, he peeks on through, trying to spot out the first CT, trades him down, he's going to take him down, no, actually he takes him back, Weber with the quick trades of a four on three, and now... It's going to be Bomb on its way in towards the site as Dream One and Co. start setting themselves up. The angles for a retake except for Fry who gets taken down and we start things off in a three on three situation as the Bomb goes go down, spots out the first Dream One looking for one through the smoke and he gets that one. Dom gets Stanley Weber in a one versus three to clutch it out for his team. Spots out the first, takes him down, looking for his second. He can hear the footsteps around the uh, pillar but he doesn't anticipate for Dancy who takes him out and it will be two players staying alive for the shutdown, the reset. Of the T side, Radix take themselves an 11th. Yep, very close game, 12-11 as you just said, and um, that was unfortunate there from um, from FM. I thought they were going to actually get that round. They got the bomb down. They got the few entries which they needed to do. Uh, it's just obviously holding down the site um, after the bomb was planted that uh, they failed to do. But never mind. Moving on to round 24, it looks like we're going to have a, a full buy from Team FM as well as a full buy from Radix, which is expected, of course. So a couple of Tech Nines here with um, with um, Stanley and Weber, and uh, the rest have got AK-47s. And it looks like they're going to opt for a bit of a default split here. Get that map control here, Team FM, and and see if any of the CTs choose to play aggressively, overextend and push so they can take them out and, uh, and open up the, the round um, in the early stages. Yeah, still got a lot of work for this T side here. If they go down, this one could be, well, an advantage that tips back to the Relic side here. AWP in play once again for Dream On. Three AKs for Friar Pulse and Nilzinho standing and Weber come back as well with two Tech Nines. Smoke, Flashbang and Grenade. Uh, is going to be the setup for those guys. Double flash set on Fry as well. So execution potentials. There will be five smokes for this T side. I'd like to see some more executions coming out from them because, well, it could be so easily it could be so easy for them to push on through to a site. But if they find that execution, if they block off the vision of the CTs, then they get themselves that extra advantage, which could be what pushes them over the edge. Now, AWP from Dream on spots out. Stanley going to go peeking in for a second. There's also one player playing very close. That's Dante. This could be Radix actually taking themselves back to a tie here. Nilzinho doesn't anticipate this. The flashbang comes out. Dancy has given away no info. Nilzinho still trying to spot out someone at a long range. Now does peek out and takes down Dancy to a four on four situation. 35 seconds on the clock and now Jenko and Co will have to try and defend this one. Now here come the smokes. Here comes the execution and Fry will lead the charge in towards the A site. Looking for Jenko. Looking for his first. He knows he's back behind the truck. He knows that his presence and he's going to line up two. Sprays down one. Fry getting Dream on a three on three and Nilzinho will back up his team, but a bomb needs to go down pretty quick. He's spying on the CT! He's still not going to take it. Nilzinho and Weber finally get two kills. All on Logsy at the backstab in the middle area. It's now going to be a three on one. The bomb will go down eventually. There it is. Now Nilzinho spotting out the info. And Logsy hasn't really got a whole lot that he can do here. It's going to be a 13th round on the board for FME Sports. Yeah, he's on site. He's got the fuse kit and he's exactly where the bomb is planted, that being truck. And uh, he goes for it. He's not going to fake. Pros don't fake. He's got two seconds. No to way. He's got no the way. He's won this round. Well played from Logsy. You spoke too early. He managed to do it. Very unexpectedly so. But well played. Extremely well played there from Radix. Especially Logsy there. I Making can't believe that. 12-12 across the scoreboard now. 
Let's see what happens in the next round. We've got a, a full buyer from FM anyway, so it's not going to affect them too much losing that round. Economy-wise. Like, that was just... I, I can't believe that just happened. Vlogsy, i got to buy you a drink, mate. That was incredible, mate. Come see me at the casting desk. That was just ridiculous. One minute. Good for the game. That, that saved Relics. That put them back into contention to retake really this half now. Fry now starting things off with the FM Esports side are now particularly pissed off. Takes two easy kills onto Domin, onto Logsy. Jayco's pushed back towards jungle and Fry's gonna go aggressive. He doesn't check the angle. What are you doing? He's got he's still not gonna be in a position where he'll get killed. It's now three on four. Bomb's gonna go down. Sway's coming in from Pulse. Spots out Jenko to 37 HP. Finally takes him down. Dancing and Dream on last two alive. Dream on with a quick boost gets taken down. And Nilzino will play a close range once again. Good Molotov. We want to push him out. And Nilzino out of position now. And the AWP shots will ring out. But they've got no defuse kit on the CT side. They've got to move now or they've got to move never. As it will be the bomb ticking. I think it's too far ticked at this point. Good grenades will do damage. But that's all it's going to do. Pushing on through. Dancing drops all on Weber to take down Dream on 13 to 12 favour of the FM side. You're still shocked by that Logsy defuse, aren't you? Well, I mean, I'm not so much now. I'm not so much now that the T-side have actually managed to uh, pick back around. So yeah, it's, it's now going to mean a reset, which means that forth. we could be very close to match point here. Yeah, it's, it's back and forth. And uh, if the, both of the teams keep this up, it, you know, overtime is more and more likely to uh, to occur. Um, but yeah, we've got a full buy from FM, which is you know the right thing to do considering they won the last round. Their economy is obviously you know fairly uh, fairly decent. Um, but um, Radix here are uh, obviously forced to eco. We've got a couple of C T uh, CZ so and um, you know two Deagles in a five seven. And we know what pistols can do in this era of CS. We've seen a lot of upsets, but Weber and Poles are making uh, or trying their best to deny them any uh, kind of upset or any um, advantage over them. Sells with the pistols and uh, Neil here. Re uh, teaming up with his teammates here, trying to take out Logza. Doesn't oh. know he's there, but Weber does it for him. Weber takes out uh, Logza, and Stanley takes out Dom, and it's now 14-12 to FM, and uh, they're going to be able to... Um, well, I was going to say they're going to be able to buy here, Radix, but they're not. Look at their economy. They're going to have to force up, or eco again, and that's going to give FM match point. So it's going to look like um, FM are going to win um, this, this map. It's looking likely. I mean, very, I'm, I'm not going to deny that possibility, but look at it. It's the full ego is going to come out from the CET side, and they're going to have themselves a three-round loss bonus. So that's $2,400 in the bank. We should have been able to send the players to buy up. A good force bar coming in here could shut down FM before they're able to get started with the end game of this map here. Stanley starts things off, taking down Logsy meanwhile. So it's going to be a standard eco coming on through, but the next round, that's the round we want to focus on, since this should just be a bloodbath that goes to the favor of FM Esports. Easily done. Jenko does take down Pulse. But that's not going to matter in the grand scheme of things because the grand scheme of things is looking, well, nothing in this particular case. 15 to 12 now. The buy-ups are going to be full M4s for Radix. Limited utility, mostly flashes. Five smokes will be out for them. Can they hold them off for long enough or can they take the kills? They need to find this round. Otherwise, it's GG and FM will make it to the grand finals of the upper bracket. Yeah, let's have a little look and see what Radix are going to do strat wise right now. This is the round that they need. It's a very, very important round for them. But um, FM here are putting the AWP, um, well, have put the AWP, should I say, into New Zinio's hands. And uh, he's just waiting for a push here on long. But no one's there, of course. He doesn't know that uh, because we've got X ray and uh, he hasn't. But um, he's holding that spot just in case someone does push. And he's going to obviously relay this information to his teammates, New Zinio. He's going to tell them that obviously no one's pushing. Fountain nor um, a long, so that means it's probably going to be quite a B um, heavy B side um, um, with um, Team Radix. So best not go there just yet. They've got plenty of time on the clock, one minute and, uh, and eight seconds. So they still have a lot of time to decide what to do, but they're going to have to make a decision fairly soon. And that decision looks as though. Is going to be a, a B execute right now. Nades are going out, flashes are going out, and some uh, wall bang there from Pulse. He doesn't cause much damage onto Dream on just a little bit, bringing him down to 83 HP. Jenko just watching that short there, but it's smoked off, so you shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Saying that though, Fry is lining up a smoke. He's going to smoke out Heaven. He's going to have a push here oh. on B. We're going to have a push here on short. It's going to be a spear. It's 3v3 right now. Weber's HP not looking too shabby, uh, but to be honest, he's got the bomb and he's got to get that down quickly, but it's oh not going to matter God. because Radix just absolutely destroy FM as they try to enter onto B's site and that means it's going to be 15-13 Radix winning that last round so well played to, well play to them Wow, we're not done yet No, we're not We are nowhere near finished 
It's going to be a 13 to 15 scoreline. Like you say, Radix on their last lifeline at this point. Waiting for, well, a chance back into this one. They've got themselves an AWP and an AK recover from the last round investment back into one M4 and a UMP. Meanwhile, on the T side, full reinvestment coming in. You might as well, because otherwise they look like they're likely to go to overtime. Five AKs, no AWP in play. <coughs> and FM Esports uh, will try and uh, set this up uh, again still. Just moving on towards whatever, uh, whatever advantage they can. FM could drop at a drop at the single moment. That single moment here. This one could be over, over and around, or it could go all the way to overtime at this point. And it's so close to what will be an amazing matchup here at I Series uh, for the uh, I60 CSGO BYOC. Now, Logzy taking aggressive angles with the UMP. A minute to go now. The T side look. They're ready to be stacking their way in towards. The uh, site here, the B site, the executions are going to blind so much vision. But look at this, players are on the rotation. They're actually going to sell a ridiculous fake because all the players except for one is going to read onto it. One's going to rotate back as well. There's going to be no presence. And look at this, it's worked out so poorly because now it's going to be three players rotating on through. Dream One's taking the first. Pulse is challenging close range. Might be able to take the kill. Yes, he can. Yes, he will. Pajenko's going to be able to trade. Takes down Fry as well. Nicely done. Dancing with the kill. And now it's going to be a two on four situation, a one on four situation. The low amount of HP. And Dom and Dancy clean things up for a 15 to 14 scoreline. FM, a great strategy, poorly executed. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic play from Radix here. I mean, the economy, of course, on FM is still fairly decent, so they're going to be able to buy again. Um, but to be honest, it's looking more and more likely it's going to be 15 15 and we're going to see overtime, unless FM can do something here. And Neil Zenio has dropped the AWP, he's now given it to Weber. Let's see if Weber can do something with it now because they definitely need to do something um, if they want to obviously win this game and get it out uh, over with now. Um, so we've got Molotovs going out from Neil onto Fountain. He's obviously getting that control as quickly as he, as he, possibly, um, as quickly as he possibly can. And, uh, and now they s he's slowly rotated around to join his teammates around B. They're just going to wait for those smokes to disappear. And then if there's no re smoke from um, Team Radix, they're most going to execute on to be like they did um, last time and hopefully this time it'll be a bit, little bit more successful than it was a couple of rounds back but Jenko gets the first kill onto Stanley as he tries to enter the site so well played from him and there's a lot of damage being caused onto Fry as well bringing him down to 19 HP Webb is on 68 too so you know it's not looking good right now the odds for FM to win this round are significantly plummeted so Pulse getting another trade onto Jenko but is that going to be good enough is that going to be enough for them to win the round no no, it's the answer to that question at the moment. They still got to find four more picks. It's possible. I mean, they've got a utility here. I mean, yes, Fry isn't on the best of HPs right now, but it's four v four still. You know, Fry is a superb, uh, superb aimer. So all he needs to do is just lock onto that head and take uh, the CT out here. And they, they're, they're fully committed to this B site. They don't want to rotate around to A whatsoever. And Logzid unfortunately takes out Frey there, taking advantage of the fact that he had low HP. Neil does go for a trade, but unfortunately misses his shot. Oh my and, god! Uh, Weber does follow up finally, but that's brilliant play from Logzilla to hold that long down. Dancy gets a kill on the pulse, and now Weber's in a 1v3 situation here with the AWP. The bomb, of course, is in possession of the terrorist here, but he doesn't know that there's a CT playing barrels. And the crossfire is coming in brilliantly from uh, the CT side. He's got a couple of players playing in CT. One player playing barrels and Weber is looking at the floor obviously keeping his head down as low as he possibly can so he doesn't get picked off good shot oh from Weber. my god will he chip barrels no he won't because Dream One will take advantage of that fact uh, and that means Weber is um, going down to his orb and it is 15-15 and like we predicted in the last few We're rounds going it's going overtime we are going overtime I am suddenly very excited actually yeah this yeah, is going to be I think the first overtime that I have casted this LAN I don't know about you this is my second this is your second there's not been a lot of overtimes to be honest no these matches have been pretty cut and dry I mean even in the close ones they've been 16 to X score, score lines so yeah for yeah, these guys, absolutely. you know, this is, this is going to be great for them. We'll see how they manage to play this one out. For us, it's great. Of course, it is MR3 because MR5 sucks. We need the full AK buy-up for the T side, which is going to be the FM side, for those of you who are unaware. And CTs are going to get an AWP out on Dreamon as well, as it will be... Well, a lot of presence out from the T side. But look, look at this. Jenko kissing Weber. Dancy comes back onto one on Pulse as well. And now the rest of the T side are ready to push onto the uh, B side. Stanley gets Logsy. Now back to a four on three situation. They will move on through. They've still got to deal with Dom out towards the uh, water area. He gets taken down. So all the work that's been done on the A side is going to be shut down pretty easily. Bomb's going to get planted. Dream, Dream One's coming on through here. 
And now a three-on-three three retake will ensue. The fuse kits are in play. Dream on. Almost down to the wall banger, but the grenade might do the job. Yes, it will. It's down to Fry and Nilzinho to try and make this round work, to try and bring FM an advantage in overtime. Clock is ticking, and the TTs are going to be walking into the current situation of the wall bangers. Nilzinho gets himself three kills in a 16-15 to 15 fashion. FM and Nilzinho in particular. We'll bring them up in the advantage. Confidence-wise, FM getting that round, the first round of overtime, is going to be you know, enormous. And um, that means that they're going to go into this round with high confidence, most likely take the second one. And if do, they do that, it's just going to be extremely likely FM are actually going to win this, this, this best of three. But anyway, look, both teams are fully bought, of course, because you get the 16 grand apiece on overtime, as we all know. So it's still an even game. It's still uh, very much um, in the hands of FM at the moment, but that could um, change immediately. And now it will be AKs once again. Back to the T side favour. Dream on. Spots on the Zinio. Tanks down a little bit. 78 HP. And uh, the bomb is also in towards connector. So right now the T side. Once again a little bit flustered. A little bit uh, unsure what to do at this point. Because well, they don't really want to lose any rounds here. I mean any round in overtime is going to be a huge misfit to you. So for them to win 18 to 15. Or win 18 to 15 half would be great for them. They've started things off great. So. Let's see if they manage to find it in this particular case. It will be a minute to go. Bombs on its way out towards long. One player also up in middle. Nilzinho playing back towards the top of long, ready to peek on through alongside his teammates. So, CT side. It will be Radix trying to set up for the, uh, well, trying to set up another good defensive here. And it looks like it might be an ace execution. Yep, absolutely, and they've got the utility to uh, make it a, a successful one as well. And uh, Nilzinho is taking um, the, the, the leading, uh, the lead here. Um, trying to get that entry onto site is going to line up a smoke grenade to smoke off bank and that's exactly where um yeah, it's Dancy. Is it Dancy playing there? I'm not too sure. But anyway, one of the CTs are playing back. Good little crossfire there from uh, the CTs. Dancy taking out two um, terrorists there. And FM um, Esports do tend to uh, do a oh good job God. as soon as they get onto site. Look at this. Uh, Jenko's taking out Pulse. That's Weber and Neil Zinio in the 2v3 situation right now. The bomb isn't even down. It's 13 seconds on the clock. And they need to get the bomb down quickly. But it's not going to happen as Dreamon takes out Neil Zinio. Make that correction. That's Dom that takes out Neil. And Weber is in a sneaky position here. He's rotating round two at B. But of course, he doesn't have the bomb, so it's not going to be able to do anything at all there. And that was uh, unfortunate for FM. They really just couldn't get onto site. Just well, well defended, really, from Radix, to be completely honest. Yeah, 100%. You know, I thought that it was going to be an extremely uh, long push, but Dancy picking up two kills in particular was kind of what shut the whole thing down because they managed to trade back one, two for two right there. A three on three situation, which is out to the rest of the CTs. Because once FM did that, they slowed things down, they stopped it, they brought it to a grinding halt, trying to wait for that bomb plant. And then that allowed the Erratics team to get themselves into good positions. So when the bomb plant did come down, it was just going to be an instant shutdown instead of that. So only one player stays alive for the end of that half. It will be AKs back together for the buy up, or the end of that round, excuse me. Uh, AKs back for the buy up here for the T side. And the Erratics will keep themselves from uh, losing. Out on the map point, one player, one team, one of these teams is going to be able to get 17 rounds here. The question is, who will it be? Maybe Radix or FM. FM going to set themselves up for a pick style play. Bomb is alongside Pulse, uh, on uh, sorry, on Pulse, alongside Standing, making its way up towards Water, and already Dancy is going to spot out the first. A good little bit of uh, information going to be gathered right there and taking that first pick. I don't think they spotted the bomb, so Pulse is going to get out scot free in that case, but it's still going to be a man advantage once again. Back to Radix, a minute to go now. And the T side will be pushing on back to well, it could be because uh, could, could be a ro to rotation right there. Dream on is not going to see anything. It's going to be down in towards the uh, connected area. Still two players out towards A on uh, middle and long though. So 45 seconds. Let's see where they go with this one. Yeah, and whoever wins this round, it's going to be very decisive because that means the other team that lost the round is going to be forced into an eco uh, in the next one. So they definitely, definitely don't want to lose this. FM nor Radix. So let's see what they can do. 25 seconds left. It's going to be a quick A push coming in here. It's got to be quick. If the bomb goes down at any one point, then it's all going to be over. Nilzinho takes down the first dance. He's down at the four versus four. Molotov will try and push Jenko away, but can he do any damage in the interim? No, he cannot. It's going to be Dream One that takes a kill. Two kills. Nilzinho finally comes back, and the bomb's going to go down. It's Pulse and Nilzinho to try and defend against three incoming CTs. Grenade is not going to land. Flashbangs will be out. Logsy gets one out, but it's not going to land until Nilzinho. So he'll be fine for the moment. But now Pulse is in a spot. Information is going to be spotted out. 
out now. Janko spraying away on towards default. Logsy! Good shot! Takes him down now. All on pulse to defend the bomb from getting defused against three hungry CTs. And they are hungry for blood. They are going to find it in the form of Dom getting himself a kill in the round. 16 to 17 will go to the favour of the Radix side. Yep, absolutely. And that's the first half of overtime there. Extremely even game throughout the entire game. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see who wins this this one. Um, I don't know what your prediction is now. I mean, is it too, too window, close? It's too close to, to call, know. really, isn't it? <laughs> um, to be honest. So we're going to see a double orb set up here from Weber and Pulse. And we know how deadly they are together. I mean, Pulse likes to tend to play uh, on B with the AWP, whereas Weber then tends to play quite aggressively uh, in toilet. So let's see if they um, look to do that this round. Um, and it will work out for Weber if he does that because most of the T's here um, are obviously to go round um, to playground and uh, and try their best to uh, to push long and take control of Fountain so they can push on and move forward towards A site and execute that. So we'll have to wait and see and, and see who comes out uh, on top first. Yeah, well, it will be AKs in play for the T's. A double up setup being brought in from FM and this has worked out so well on their CT side. Can they make it work same on this CT side, we'll find out shortly as Stanley looks to be the one to take first face out towards bathrooms, Jenko and Co. And they're getting themselves back in towards, oh, Weber, no, that's not what you want to do. You don't want to give them any kind of advantage in this situation. Even if you are twitchy, even if you are worried, you've got to keep your cool, especially if Stanley, and if Stanley didn't call out he was coming in there, then that's kind of his own fault in his own right. But now, scramble positions, two players in towards middle to try and defend their Weber. They know where Weber's playing from because he let out the AWP shot. That's so bad from him. They was going to have to rechange and reposition and try and take up a new tactic as the T side in Radix are setting themselves back to go towards the B side instead. Yeah, Weber should have collected those shots. Um, to be quite frank, that would have made um, life a lot easier for FM um, in this round, this, um, this round in overtime. But it um, looks like um, Radix aren't quite sure where they want to go. I mean, it looks like Jenko's going to get a nice kill onto Stanley, though, mind you, at, at um, Toilet. There's a little bit of uh, an overextension there from Stanley, a, a kind of aggressive play, which um, obviously didn't help. Weber takes out Jenko, though, to trade up. Goes for a second. I'll take that back about Weber missing the shots in Toilet. So he gets three kills before Logzilla takes him out with the AK-47. The bomb is going to be planting on Toilet. Oh, look at Fantastic play from from Pulse there, causing some good damage on to Logzilla. Now Dream On, Logzilla. Now Dream On was winning a 1v1, but Pulse takes him out. Fantastic play from Pulse of the AWP. Backs up his team members, rightly so. Defuses the bomb after killing quite a couple, well, quite a few of the terrorists there. And, uh, and now it's 16, sorry, 17-17 now. Back and forth, like it has been pretty much the majority of uh, of this uh, this game. This should that the, uh, Pulse had such a good, yeah, like you said, a great round from Pulse. He landed that wall banger. He knew the bomb was going to get planted for default. Yeah. And he landed, he just wasn't able to find the whole body. He got himself a leg shot. No, unfortunately and that is not. So, that, yeah, it's so yeah, unfortunate. It, it was unfortunate, but, you know, it's still enough. He still managed to get the round. But, yeah, you're right. It would have been sweet if he did actually kill him with that that um, that shot through the smoke. But, um, look, Logzilla's going down to connect it here. Looks like we're going to see a nice um, default strat here coming from Radix to try and control that map. Smokes are going out from uh, FM though. They just want to make sure that um, Radix don't have any leeway or uh, or, or um, advantage at all over any part of the map. So they're just going to wait for each other to make a mistake, and neither are. It's going to be a slow round here to begin with. Nothing too exciting, but it's a very important part of the game. So no one really wants to give anything away, and rightly so. Double up setup coming back out for the CT side. Weber and Pulse. Pulse played that well last time. He's going to be playing out towards the uh, B site in this particular case. So Indeed, yeah. And Pulse is spotted. Um, oh, I don't know if he's spotted him or not, but he's uh, he's looking towards long. He's <laughs> going to miss the shot, and so is the um, Radix um, t terrorist there. He's going to flash Pulse. He's going to go for a retake here, which is very risky considering uh, we've got someone pushing Shaw. And uh, Dreamer managed to get a nade onto Pulse there, and it looks like they execute onto B. Look, Bloodbath. Nilzinho taking out Dancy after Dancy takes out Fry. And then that means Stanley Weber and Nilzinho are in a 3v4 situation. Look at that. Look that are taking out Stanley and now Weber's on his own with an AWP not really much he can do considering he's got like Kevlar and he's against four Radix here not going to be a good round for FM unfortunately as Weber chooses to save that gun rightly so so he can go into the next round with it and, uh, and hopefully cause some damage but look it's going to be 18-17 to the likes of Team Radix well played from them oh man mate it's going to be sweating bullets coming out of the uh, uh, FM camp right now I can imagine that right now they're kind of holding their hats and uh, 
well, trying out their pants in this particular case because they are pretty nervous right about now. So am I. It's down to the wire. As is this match was going to be, it was not going to be a very small feat as it stands 18 to 17. Favor, of course, to the Radix side in the first half of in the first uh, uh, overtime we got going on here. It's going to be an awkward by coming in for the CDs because, like I said in the last round, double up investment is going to leave you in such a bad spot here, especially if you lose. Two M4s will be out to support it alongside two UMPs on Stanley and Norzinho versus the M A AWP and four AK Bubs. Yes, the M UMPs are strong, but when you're going up against rifles like that, you know which one wins. Of course, it's going to be the AK that wins, of course. So, look at the position from Weber. He's in a good spot here. The bomb, as well as Jenko, are playing Fountain, trying to control that. But he doesn't obviously spot anyone there, Weber. So he falls back to a more secure and safe position. And rightly so. Now it's one minute and 23 seconds on the clock. So a decision needs to be coming in from Radix very soon. And uh, no one's giving anything away whatsoever. So they're not going to really find any kind of opposition unless they do execute onto the site. And they're going to do just that, um, I'm sure, in the next few seconds. Look at this from Stanley. Peaking down. Very aggressive play. Very ballsy. And unfortunately, it's not going to work out for him as Logzilla takes him out. I don't know what that was. Maybe there's a little bit too aggressive. Maybe he was told to do that. I'm not sure. But look, he's put his teammates in now in a 4v5 situation. They're boosting here. The likes of Dream on with the orb, just trying to get some information so they can relay that. So when they do get onto site, they know exactly where the CTs are. But there's three CTs on site B. They don't know this, of course, Team Radix. But this is going to be a difficult take onto site if they choose to go commit to B. Here come the flashes, it's going to be Dom, first man in, he's going to be the first man out as Fry gets himself to FM, oh my god, they're cleaning it up, it's going to be Poles getting himself one as well in the exchange, two kills for Fry, and a great round from FM, a great hold, is going to put them to double overtime, we are not done yet, I am extremely tired dude, Same. <laughs> you've got another series coming up as well, I know, I potentially got another three games tonight right, yeah, he, don't, he, he doesn't look very happy. I enjoy it. It's great. It's, it's, it's all well and good. Except, except you got all. three hours sleep last night because you were at the casino. <laughs> That's fine. I've had plenty of drinks, energy drinks, monster drinks, but there are other energy drinks available. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Duh. Don't, don't let's not let's not go there. They're not they're not they're not sponsored this tournament. Do you know who asked sponsors? Do you know why they are sponsored? Do you know who are sponsors though? We, got, we do have some very lovely sponsors, of Indeed. course. Indeed. Providing us with uh, and we shall um, give them a mention. Yes, providing us with the funds necessary to actually keep this thing together. Uh, it is going to be uh, uh, of course it's Somnia Sixty brought to you by Twitch, Twitter Blur and uh, Game particularly uh, Game Belong. I mean Belong, they're a, a pretty uh, decent uh, uh, shout for game retail stores, you know. Esports arenas and all that around the country. Absolutely. I think there's about six, seven locations. I can't remember what they are particularly, but uh, no, I don't know the details, but definitely there, so Yeah. Uh, it's also gonna be uh, Esports Insomnia is brought to you by GT Omega, the racing trailers that we lovely sit on actually. Now let me bring that yeah, up. Yeah, we've got to be thankful. Take yeah, a look I at these got, I got to admit, these things are look really at these. comfy. Very GT comfy. Omega, yeah. the race on my head's and in the way. And they're perfect when they're casting literally all day and all night, which we have been doing. So, thank yeah. you. And also, we also uh, have to give our sponsors for the CSGO uh, stream. We're totally selling out, but to be honest, we've hit that point in the night where we don't really care. It is going to be Steel Series and Team Speak. Of course, Steel Series with their uh, Arctis. Is that the word? Is it? Actually, it's, got, it's written down here. Arctis 3s. Uh, Arctis, Arctis 3, 5, and 7. <laughs> is their uh, headset line of their uh, special new uh, fancy headset and of course TeamSpeak the number one choice of uh, uh, yes thank you for the dad person you've in rehearsed the that. yeah I bet he did <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh, yeah TeamSpeak of course the number one communication choice for all the CSGO pros they're providing a service for the uh, uh, communication of teams here in the uh, uh, in the BYOC, BYOC hall which you can see behind us Something like 3,500 people yep. in, this, in this hall about right, right now. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Gaming all night, all day, all weekend. That's how we do it at iSeries. That's how we always do it, mate. That's why I don't even know how we do it at iSeries. That's how we do it in general. In general. I just, I just don't sleep. I'm just a perpetually running machine is the truth of the matter. Mm. Anyway, back to the action. Uh, which after, of course looking there is, there is, after looking at our lovely chairs. After looking at our lovely GT Omega stairs and that wonderful dab. Yeah, and yeah. of course, our brilliant. I, would, I, would be, I wish I could say still serious headsets, but they're not. So um, uh, you can't do that. I know. You can't say that. I know, but what are they called? Come on. I can't say that. No, because they're. Uh, oh right. Okay. They're, they're we've got sponsoring. nice headsets. Let's put it like that. Yeah, we've anyway. got very nice headsets. They're not. I mean, we got very. We, are, we got, yeah, they yeah, are. We, and we yeah. also got very nice uh, uh, monitors and a very nice like, audio mixer and All a right, very nice. Don't uh, boast. Uh, don't boast. <laughs> we got. <laughs> we got nice everything. We do have nice everything. Yeah. Wonderful. We also have nice peanut. I'm not going to go there. And we have uh, nice pauses that take forever. Yes. 
nice pauses that require people to relieve themselves. So we have nice water. Anyway, and, uh, nice beer. I still haven't drunk out of that yet. Yeah, he hasn't. Totally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, for those of you just joining us in this matchup, it's 18 to 18 uh, right now. Completely, uh, well, e dead even at this point. We're in overtime two here between these two teams, uh, Radix and FM, for the finals playoff spot of the upper bracket to face off against Dog Gaming. I'm not even sure we're going to be able to get through this round tonight. Like... We're going to have to talk to the admin about that. I mean, I'm not even sure how that's going to go down. Um, but, uh, I mean, John should technically be doing this series. He's asleep right now. Uh, I'm not sure if I can wake him up. I'm not sure if I should wake him up, to be honest. Probably not for the best. <laughs> not, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out later. Uh, but, uh, um, yeah, I'll, uh, we'll, we'll see if he is able to uh, come down for the uh, thing. But, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, so. We're just waiting. Waiting yeah, we are pretty much just waiting for it. It was an unpause. It's not just an automatic thing considering we're, we've, we're in round two of overtime, no? Who put the pause in? Do we know? Uh, it was... Uh, of course, it's, it's a toilet. It should it's, stay it's, on it's, there. It's a toilet break, so I don't think it matters. Oh, okay. It is... Um, uh, uh, you should have gone when they went. You oh keep saying yeah, that you're, you're busting to go to the toilet. But I'm a professional, though. I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be one of these. I'm, I'm not going to walk out midway for a broadcast to go to the toilet. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> no. Even if it is a tactical That's pause. That's true. We have to hold... We've got we to cross our legs and uh, yeah, bear exactly. it. That's We've it. got to grin our teeth and shout cast the match. These are the things we go through. Like, we go through a lot, don't we? Yeah, we do. We do. Yeah. We really do. Anyway, it's going to be uh, the... Uh, I think the on pause. Is this an on pause? Oh, yes, it's going to be the on pause from Stanley. Here we go. Let's AWP getting brought up by Weber, who has been a powerful AWP player so far. So let's see if he can take it all the way to the edge here. Uh AK is also out for the T side. Here comes the unpause. Finally, overtime two comes to fruition here between FN and Radix Esports. And let's see where they are going to play, particularly on the FM side, who are starting things off on CT. They will make their way into... Well, where will they... They're going to go... Actually, two players on the A side. One in middle, one in the uh, long area, and three out towards B to try and defend us as we see it here. On oh, the T side, they look to go very, very fast in towards B here. Logsy and... Dream on. Going to be plus two in. Logs are going to take the first man out there. Pulse goes falling fry with two nice kills. However, Nilzinho gets one as well. Drops the bomb. He's going to get taken out towards Toxic. And Logsy is going to be able to get that nice kill down to 40 HP with a good grenade. However, coming in from the CT player out towards uh, Jungle and uh, Graffiti. Jenko, good smoke on towards the uh, Heaven area. Molotov will once again push Fry out of Jungle again. Still holding down face at the corner though. We'll take down Jenko. So now it's Logsy. All alone, all alive, in a one versus three, out towards water. He's committed. He's committed to be here. He's got the bomb on his back, so he's going to have to do something here. He can't go back and, uh, and save the AK, so here we go. He's going to get into a nice little draw with Fry here. Who comes out on top? We are yet to see. We are yet to find out, and neither of them, um, as Weber <laughs> comes into the fight and takes out Logzilla with the AWP. Very <laughs> sneaky play there, and uh, quite a good discipline there from Fry, not to peek. Yeah, they he, obviously knew, he, knew Weber, he knew there. Weber had his back, so there you go. He yeah. didn't need to they take the 1v1. Yeah, but trust. A good, good level of trust there. Yeah, yeah. 100%. <laughs> 19 to 18 in favour of the FM side. Now, can they bring this one over the edge? They've got a bridge oh. gap. Come on, FM. Yeah, they've got, they're have got. they still in overtime. We are not going to be done very soon just here. It's going to be pushing on out in towards, well, wherever the hell they want to go for this T side. Good boost from Weber. Going to be backing up his teammate out towards Long and Stanley. May find a bit of challenge coming on for us. It will be middle presence being gathered by the T side. It will actually be Dom that takes him down, starts things off nicely for the T side. Smokes out. We'll keep Dream on playing. Lark out towards Monster from being able to push on through. We'll get trading uh, 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 trades on the health. Pulse going to be coming out on 75. Dream on the 77. So roughly the same. And uh, the T side with the map control will now make their way in towards Connector. It looks like it's going to be a B hit coming through. From Radix here. Four men on the uh, CT side. Can FM hold them off? We will find it out. But you're right. You've got one minute on the clock here. They're going to have a little boost here onto, uh, onto the railing here just to see where the CTs are inside Site B. But um, to be honest, they, they're, they're smoked off. So there's not really much they can do until that disappears. But it looks like they are forming up, regrouping here, um, Team Radix, um, as they do a look to execute onto the site. Now, it's going to be interesting to see what happens because... Pulse is in a great position here with his teammate, that being Fry. And look at that flash, absolutely perfection there. 
great, uh, just perfection, pure perfection there from Team FM. Pop Flash takes out two of the terrorists there. Weber and Nilzinho, though, of course, are in a 2v3 situation. And uh, they do have kits. They have the utility to get onto site. But are they going to prove to be successful here? We have to wait and see because they're just searching for a little pick here. The bomb's obviously going down now. So they've got to start moving forward um, to, and, and slowly re retake and try and attempt to retake this site. And uh, Nilzinho here is just searching for a, a, a terrorist. They're searching for a kill. Gets that out on, onto Jenko. It's a great headshot uh, from him. And now Dancy and Logzilla here aren't peaking. They're playing smart here. They're playing very smart indeed because they don't want to give anything away. Look at that from Dancy. Kills him from Monster. And then Weber returns. Now it's 1v1 here. Logzilla and Weber in a 1v1 situation. He has a kit. He doesn't have heavy Kevlar. He's got to go for it. Pros don't fake. Come on. Can he get it? No Two, way. one. Okay. He gets it. Brilliant. Oh, Logzilla. How about takes the your own Why medicine, Why would you do mate? that, Logzilla? You gotta Logzi got a taste of his own pills being ninjaed underneath his own <laughs> underneath his own sight there. 20 to 18. FM finally take themselves a lead, a, a decisive lead this time. 20 to 18, looking for 21, looking for match point once again. Can they find it here in overtime? They need to find it here in overtime. They need to take a round off the, seat, off the T side. Look at Weber's position here. Fantastic spot here. If, they, if um, Dom um, chooses to, or Dancy chooses to peak, he's going to get taken down. And look, Dancy falls down to Weber's AWP, and that's going to give them the man advantage very early in the round. Nilzino taking some damage, though, bringing himself down to 47 HP. Now 8 HP, now dead. Pulse does follow up and kill Jenko there to trade. And now it's Dom and Dream and Logzilla in a 3v4 situation here against a strong, strong FM side. Looking for that 20, uh, 21 round there. And Weber just searching for another kill with the AWP looking for toilet looking for someone to come out of the toilet shall I say and Pulse does get a lovely little uh, wall shot onto Dream there and that puts Dom and Logzilla in a 1v oh no now a 1v1 1v4 should I say Dom in an awkward position not much he can really do he's just um, shooting at uh, Stanley's toes there just causing a little bit of damage and he's going to rotate round to uh, Ace a uh, long he gets a nice little boost there, searching for that overextension um, from Weber, but he's not going to. He's just going to wait for Dom to come into sight. He's playing extremely passively here, and Dom is sneaking round. He's going to get the advantage. He's going to take Weber out. He gets the second as well, but unfortunately for Dom, Fry destroys him, and uh, that means they're going to go into uh, a team switch here, and it's 21-18 to FM. Well played. Yep. That's what we know. Yep. I think we can hear them. Uh, yeah, I think that was them screaming in the background. They are pretty and happy with how they They're quite uh, far away as well, so they must be happy. Yeah, they must be very happy. Well, they haven't got to celebrate too hard just yet. It's going to be 21 to 18 now. Favour of FM. Still got to find three rounds for Rodix. They've got to find just one. So let's see if they can close things out. Finally, on this T side, FM match point. The third match point of the match so far. Can they take it over the edge? We're about to find out. Map presence towards the B site. But look at the aggression coming in from the CTs. Jenko is pushed all the way up towards team lane. And this could get shut down at the drop of a hat if he can find it together. He's just peeking on through. Logsy has got to be the one that holds down a site if they do decide to go down this way. They know it's not going to be the A site. So one player is going to rotate back towards the uh, B site itself. And Jenko with a beautiful pack stab comes in, drops the bomb, holds off Stanley for a little bit longer, takes a second spray, but Stanley takes him down. And there comes the Molotov into play, takes him out of the action. Bomb's been dropped. A minute to go and a great play is going to bring them to a man advantage on the Radix side. Pulse out towards middle. Could to get some map control alongside Fry. And the bomb's going to get picked up by Weber. But at the end of the day, a great play. He's going to shut down things. Polster traded back to a three on three. So once again, this, man, this round is back in contention. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Dom just watching um, short here. Just making sure there's no sneaky pushes from the Team FM. And uh, Weber, Fry, Pulse, they're regrouping slowly but surely. Uh, the bomb is still on B side. And it looks like they, uh, Pulse and, uh, and Fry are going to opt to go down towards Connector and, uh, and search for Logzilla, who is waiting in River, waiting in uh, towards B short for them to make a mistake, for them to come out there. They've, of course, heard the door. Logzilla takes out Pulse there. He's oh searching for God, a second, Dom. but Dom gets a second onto Fry. Nice wall bang <coughs> from him. And Weber is now in a one 
1v3 situation. He's going to go for it, though. He's got an AWP. Is he going to do any damage? He does a little bit of damage onto Dream One, but is it going to be enough? He's playing Monster as close to the wall as he possibly can, so he doesn't get taken out. He does manage to take out Dream One, but Dom gets the trade in the end, and that is now means that Radix have finally got a round back on the board. They're still in this game. It's 21-19, and it is a phenomenal piece of overtime. Oh, my God. We are not done. We've still got another series to go as well. Like, yeah, this yeah, is I mean, the thing about this. Is your last one. Well, so it should be if John yeah. actually wants to turn up, but we, we don't know yet. He's back at the hotel sleeping, so I'll give him a ring see if he doesn't want to actually come down. But either way, AWP in play for Dream On. Five AKs for the T side here for the uh, FME Sports. And uh, they will make themselves their presence known once again. Back towards Connector in the B half of the map in Monster. Bomb on Stanley. Fry is going to back him up and Dream One with the AWP peeks out at the perfect time for one to peek out and take a tag onto him. 31 HP is unable to find the full kill. Yeah, and Stanley's going to push through the smoke here. It's going to work out for him. Pulse gets the first kill over the grenade. Stanley goes down to the likes of Dom's AK-47 and that means Fry, Weber, Pulse and Nilzinho in a 4v4 situation. It's going to be interesting as Jenko takes out Pulse there with the M4 coming as 21-19 on the scoreboard. Fry does molly the barrels and it forces him out and then in the same time Nilzinho takes full advantage of that as he takes out Zilla there, Fry searching for a second kill. They've got flashes, they've got the utility to get on site. Unfortunately for them, the clock is ticking. They need to get on the site, get the bomb down, and win this round. Can FM do it? It's going to be a three on three situation. Health advantage to Radix, and now the man advantage to Radix as Jenko picks up one, Don picks up another, and Fry now alone in a one versus three. He can't do it. It's going to be 21 to 20, favour of the FM side, and Radix, they are, they They're are gonna desperate be all night, man. to hold on to this <laughs> overtime. They want to go to overtime three because this is just <laughs> down to the wire for their CT side. FM. One more round in the bank. Can they take it over the edge? Back and forth, back and forth. It's 21-20. Alex are doing a good job at staying into this game. It's going to be interesting to see if FM can bridge that gap once more. It seems like we're going to be playing overtime all night, no? I hope not. I mean, the longest go game in Counter-Strike is like 88 rounds, so I prefer not to be going that far. You're already on like uh, um, 36, 42 rounds, so yeah. that's basically double the number of rounds we've got going for us. So let's not go there. But we're going to see an aggressive uh, little push here from um, Neil Zinio and, uh, and Stanley to see if he can get that entry onto uh, site B, um, A, should I say. The smoke's going out on towards bank. Two oh CT playing uh, on, 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 on toilets there. I don't know what was happening on long. No one was watching it whatsoever. And Fry takes full advantage of that as he takes out Dancy and Dream On. Now Jenko tries to peek Fry, but unfortunately gets punished. Stanley takes out Dom as well. And that means Logzilla is in a 1v5 situation. Stanley doing a phenomenal job there taking out uh, all of the CTs. And that means it's 22-0. FM in favour and it's their game. Good game. There we are. FM finally take a, take the series at 2-1. to one. I, I can't even comment on how insane yeah, that was. Just yeah. so close. Almost all every step of the way. It was, of course, the um, uh, uh, second map that was a bit um, uh, uh, weak.